These highlights are brought to you by Pillars. Pillars, always gluten-free. Final day of the regular season in the PDL, KW United FC's playoff hopes on the line as they took on the Toronto Lynx. United needing a win against the team from the GTA, but also needing Chicago Fire to tie or lose in their game in order to advance to the postseason. To the first and the black and blue showing why they deserve that final playoff spot. Will Grocott sends it up to Jay Chapman and he takes off, blowing by at least three Lynx defenders before beating Matt Silva along the ground. Chapman with a huge go-ahead goal in the seventh minute and KW has a 1-0 lead. More from United, Grocott down the side, he's looking for Liam Collins on the cross but Collins can't get enough of it and the Toronto keeper makes the stop. Then a little later, Chapman's pass is knocked down, but Jarek Whiteman is there to pick up the loose ball and get the shot off, but Silva comes up with a big save in close. The first half was all united as they put up six shots, but Silva would hold his ground to keep it a one goal game. Skip to the second. And it started out much the same. 56th minute, Collins sends it to Whiteman on the far side, and he lays a perfect cross to Chapman, who heads it into the open net. Chapman with his second of the match, and it's a big one as he gives his team some insurance. It's now 2 0. But Toronto would catch a break in the 70th. Lloyd Grist with a free kick, and he lays a great shot around the wall and into the top corner. Grist cutting the lead in half. It's 2 1. Then, moments later, Toronto looking for the equalizer. <laughs> Darren McLeod making not one, but two unbelievable saves, robbing Mikhail McNamara of a sure goal. The KW keeper with an incredible second effort, and by no surprise, he sent a spark to his team. Chapman takes the pass from Grocott and he sends a no-doubter to Evan James. That would seal the victory for the Black and Blue as they defeat the Lynx 3-1. However, Chicago Fire would come away with a 4-1 win against their crosstown rivals, the Inferno. So despite a valiant effort, KW United FC's inaugural season comes to an end. Great season. I mean, it's unfortunate that we couldn't grab that last playoff spot, but... Overall, it was a great season. We gave it everything. We, it's unfortunate, too, because we really started to pick it up near the end of the season, getting on a roll, and I think, I think we're a little bit unlucky not to clinch that last playoff spot, but it's good things to move on to for uh, next season. Everyone's a bit disappointed that we have to go home because, you know, uh, I mean, we have a lot of talent on this team, and I'm sure that everyone thought that we'd uh, go a lot farther, but um, I'm thrilled with the uh, end of the season and the, and the end result. And, uh, it's been a good summer. Well, going into it, we knew we had to work to win, and uh, we did that. And, uh, I thought it was, it was a scrappy game, but I think we always knew that we would win that game. And uh, it's a shame about the Chicago result, but we done all we could, and that's all we had to ask for ourselves. You're, you're looking at 25, 27 players that have never played together or as a, as a unit, and uh, to put that together, it takes some time. You get no real pre-season or. or lead up to this it's straight in I think we've got loads to build on not just on the field but off the field as well uh, the fans tonight were fantastic um, and it was great that they stayed behind to cheer us all on and speaking to them there they're all excited about next season already so it's certainly wow. something to build on for KW United Football Club I'm Chad Leach